Hey everybody and welcome to Cyberpunk TV. Today we're looking at a game called Vintage Game Shop, as you can read from the screen right now, so I don't know why I do that. Um, I'm not sure how this game works, but it's supposed to be like a trading simulator where you trade retro games. So I'm going to go ahead and dedicate this let's play to my friend Calvin, who is the only person I know who cares about video game prices. So let's do this. You're about to fulfill every gamer's dream, owning a dedicated retro and classic game shop. However, running a shop isn't easy. You need to make money. And there's only one way to make money. You have to sell, buy items cheaply and resell them at a higher price. Besides being a shop owner, you're also a game collector. So you only have to earn, be able to earn enough money to buy every game and machine from the history of video games. I don't think we're gonna play that long. Let's see if we can turn a profit. A Famicom? All right, so, what is it? It's a Super Famicom. Um, who made it? Nintendo made it. It's from the same era as the Super Nintendo, yeah. Um, gameplay, 16-bit. Okay, so this is just like educational. I'm gonna sell it for 45 bucks. That is pretty pricey. I'm gonna give you, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. How about 32? How about like 25, son? Yeah, I'll take that for 25. The item looks damaged. Oh, this item looks damaged. Test item. It's working perfectly. Oh, this is so cool. I don't really want to watch a video. It's fine. Um, yeah, this is a link to the past for the Famicom. The Super Famicom. It's weird because it says Super Nintendo on it, but it's the alternate cartridge style. Um, me and Nintendo made it. Whatever. Yeah, it's one of the most beloved Zeldas. That's actually true. This is um, one of the most influential games in the world. That's laying it on a little thick, but Link to the Past is by far a lot of people's favorite one. Um, 12 bucks. Dude, the cartridge is damaged. I mean, that's not worth $12. That's worth like eight bucks, bruh. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Best I can do, man. The thing's all kinds of messed up. No, con no collector wants that. Okay. Hey, there we go. Sold it for 50 bucks. Nice. Take my link to the past, too. Oh, nobody else wanted it. All right. Cool. It will resell automatically. Sometimes items will resell immediately. Others will take several days. That makes perfect sense. There's my stock. Okay. What's up? Yep. Cool. All right. You have no idea about the real value of this game. It's like 35 bucks, dude. Oh, I don't want to... Yeah, it should resell for about 40. That makes perfect sense. Um, I just want to know what you think. It's not worth at least $60. You're, you're, no, no. It's worth like 20 bucks, dude. Like, I can only sell it for 30 and I've got to make a profit. 49? Nah, man, nah. Like 25 then. I'll, I'll hit you up. 37? Nah, man, you do not understand what I'm trying to tell you. Like, how about 30 flat? <sighs> Fine. You have no interest. In no, I do. I do want this. I do want this. Golden Axe is a hype game for the Mega Drive. Come on, that's the European version. Fine, whatever. <sighs> yeah, sell it at GameStop. I earned two dollars. Oh, I earned ten bucks. See, that one was not a very good sale. I knew that. All right, we got nothing in the store. Literally, the store is empty, except for a bunch of, like, My Little Pony DVDs. Oh, see? This is rare, because this is the original F-Zero, which is, like, a legendary Super Nintendo game, and it's the full... It's, it's a complete. So, in game collecting, having the box, the manual, and everything, as you would imagine, adds it... adds a lot of value. Yeah. See, full package for 50 bucks. See, that's reasonable, but I gotta negotiate him down because I gotta turn a profit, so I'm gonna be like 30, 30 bucks. Yeah, thanks, man. That's really fair. So you can go buy Call of Duty with that, and I'll hit you up. Donkey Kong Country? Dude, I don't even need to look at the price on this one. I know I know what this is. This is like a $5 loose cartridge. 30? No, you're really dumb. 24, no, you, you don't understand, bro. That's gonna bite me. I'm not gonna be able to sell it for that, prob probably. I don't know. All right. Um, nothing sold today. Well, my store only has two things in it, so 
I don't blame them. Uh, complete of Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm in. What do they think it's worth? He thinks it's worth $30. Well, I will, I'll make you an offer. 15 To be fair, the Sonic the Hedgehog with the case is actually pretty rare because it came with the console, so no one has this box for it, or very few people have this box for it. How about 19 Nah, dude. How about like seven, 16 best I can do? How about like 17 best I could do? I don't feel bad being really mercenary with fake people, but with real people, it's kind of hard. What is this? This is, I think this is Streets of Rage. What is it? Yeah, me European Mega Drive game, Streets of Rage 2. In the US, the console is called the Genesis instead of the Mega Drive. I'm pretty sure that Mega Drive and Genesis games, there's an adapter that will make them compatible with each other too. I That really isn't relevant to you. Um, it's a real classic. How much can you offer me? Yeah, see, it's one of the best games on the Mega Drive. Everybody loves it. How much can you offer me? Dude, it's a loose cart. Uh, 10 bucks. Okay, how about 15? Okay, how about... You know, it's really weird that they get to make... Basically, tell me. $80? You're wrong. How about, how about 40? 40 is not enough. How about 49? Um... How about 45, son? Yeah, all right. That's not going to sell for that. Not at all. What is this? Echo the Dolphin? I hate this game. Actually, I don't. Like, my mom hates this game because I got stuck in the opening level. As a kid, I couldn't figure out how to get out of there, and she just has the music, like, ingrained in her soul because I played it for so long. Um, it's also a really weird game. Like, it's just super weird. Uh, okay, well, whatever, 20 bucks. 45, you know, you're not wrong. I'll give you 30. Cool. All right, let's see what sells. I'm really, I need to actually sell some stuff today. Oh, I earned nothing on that sale. I got it back for exactly what I bought it for. There's five bucks. This is not going well for me. Yeah, but I lost $2 on that sale, Game Expert. If I sent it to you, you'd charge me ten dollars. That was that was a gross week, though. All right, we'll do one more. We'll do one more week. That is a signed Super Mario Kart. Would you buy this for me? Yeah, I would. Signed by Shigeru Miyamoto. It's true. It's super old. Uh -uh, jump on enemies to kill them. Yeah, I know. You can have it for $1,000. All right, listen, man. Here's what I got for you. I will give you 150 bucks for it. How about 155 final offer? How about 155 How about 155 Dude, I can't not offer you... Whatever, man. I got to pass, dude. I can't afford that. Go talk to the dude on Pawn Stars. Um, Super Metroid. This is, why do they all look like the European card? That must have been where this game was made. Because I like I keep thinking everything is rarer than it is because it's all the European stuff. Uh, just, I'm blind offering 20 bucks. It's not worth $100. You're an idiot. Take 25. Take 26. Oh my, this negotiation is taking at ages. How about 40 bucks? Ugh. <sighs> Night Trap. Oh, Night Trap is an awesome game. So this game actually got in really big trouble, but um, it's a game where you watch through security cameras as a house full of like teenage girls and stuff gets killed by a serial killer in full motion video. As you can tell, that probably made some people crazy back in the day. But it's actually really cool because it's um, like actually, it's like a super early precursor to games like Five Nights at Freddy's or other games where you have to like take a passive like viewing approach to the gameplay. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm just going to ask him what he thinks it's worth. <sighs> yeah, it's age restricted, all that stuff. Yep, VH console named the Nemo. Um, yeah, girls attacked by vampires. Woohoo. Let's negotiate. You want 80 bucks, I'll give you 40. How about 50? How about 42? How about 43? <laughs> How about 44? 
Fine, let's do 45. Okay. Dude, I got an R-rated game. Okay, what do we what do we do this for before? I forgot. 100 See, this one's in really great shape, so it's worth more, but like I think you're full of crap, so I'm just going to offer you like 50 bucks cuz <sighs> 60 bucks. I should not do business like that and let them have what they want. We'll see. Oh, I lost 10 bucks on it. Oh, that's gross. Well, that, that one went well, I guess, at least. $5 of profit. Oh, the margins. The margins are so tight. Yeah. It's broken. Oh, I should test items before buying them. I forgot that I can do that. A $5 profit. Okay, we'll do... I want to do one more. I want to do one more day. I know this is going to be slightly longer of an episode, but I want to do one more day. It's a PlayStation 1 with the old controller. All right, cool. Value. It's worth 30 bucks. You're right. Test it. Working perfectly. Negotiate. I'll give you $15. I'll give you $16. I'll give you $15. I'll give you seventeen dollars. All right. Ridge Racer for the PlayStation. Test it. Working good. What do you think it's worth? Sixteen bucks. That's almost the same as the console. Screw that, dude. See, I overpaid for that right there. I should have been cheaper, but this is a beat up, beat up Zelda cart. We know it's not worth sixty-two dollars. It's all kinds of messed up. get out of here uh we're starting to see rep repetition and i think that's okay not worth that it's worth the four no how about 30 how about fine that's gonna suck for me later all right what are we getting three dollars oh that's all that's sold <laughs> all right this game goes on forever or very close to forever oh sega saturn those are so cool I really like that I can test things. That's cool. 20 bucks. 80. Are you crazy? 30 bucks. How about 40 bucks? Fair enough. Sagata Sanshiro? I don't, under, I don't know. I'm getting achievements. That's really weird. All right. Virtua Fighter for the Sega Saturn. It's working good. I don't know. What do you think it's worth, man? $15 wrong eight dollars <laughs> all right um what super street fighter 2 arcade cabinet what do you think it's worth five hundred dollars no 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 go here here i'll give you i'll give you a one dollar all right i will give you ten dollars i will give you one hundred dollars oh one hundred dollars how about one hundred dollars again? How about you suck it? I don't. I don't want to. I don't. Forget it. Oh, twenty bucks. Wait, test it. Oh, it's broken. Clear offer. I will give you one dollar. It's broken, man. It's broken. One dot. Two dollars. I don't want to buy it from this dude. Your thing's broken. Stupid. I lost $30 on that sale. Oh man, why though? All right, this is a good time to quit watching me just suffer. I earn nothing, and call that's fair. All right guys, I think this establishes very clearly that I should not work in the vintage game shop. I'm too nice, or I'm just like whatever, fine, and that's the end of it. That and I apparently don't know what video games are worth. So I'll see you guys later. This was pretty fun. Um, check it out.